that out there with your best performances of the season, would you say? Yeah, I think it was a great bounce back game. Um, the way we played, I thought it <clears throat> against uh, Toronto. Um, I thought the guys, again, executed the game plan and uh, I thought, you know, everybody participated, but, you know, I thought Lucas set the tone, Kai, those two uh, set the tone tonight and uh, the guys followed. What what was uh, what changed after they took a it was a nine or eleven point lead was was the was some of the trouble uh, the Clippers sending doubles at Luka and just adjusting to that? Uh, well, I think it was more that we sent them to the free throw line. Um, they were in the bonus uh, with seven minutes or, or so, uh, and, and that's hard to do against a group like that. That's going to you know isolate you and drive the ball, and you got to not foul, and uh, and so. I thought once we got past the first quarter, or the first half of that first quarter, I thought we were pretty good. Jason, what's it like as a coach when you see your team go to 35 to 4 run the way they did against one of the better teams in the NBA? Yeah, again, I thought uh, being prepared for you know the reds or, or switches and then also just the double teams, I thought everybody was uh, alert um, and made plays. And, and uh, with all that being said, you got to make shots, and I thought everyone made shots, so, you know, even Luca. <clears throat> was making a lot of shots there in that run. Yeah, seven, seven points in the first half, that's very impressive. Yeah, that's the, where the league is today. There's a lot of scoring happening right now, mm -hmm. um, and we feel comfortable with that. And so um, I thought one of the guys who did a really good job for us, who had carryover uh, from the Toronto game was Exum. I thought uh, Dante did a really good job of pushing the, the, the pace and getting us out and getting us some easy looks. Um, but when you can score that many points in a, in a half, um, you know, those guys are pros. The Clippers are a good team. It's just a matter of time when they, they click. And we, we just caught them early before they, they're ready to go. Mm -hmm. Seth did not play at first, but then he got into the game. What led to that? Yeah, he, he had a big underrated shot tonight. Um, when they were making a run, he made a big three for us. And no one's going to really talk about that. But um, there was talk maybe on the bench bringing Kai back at this point. Um, with the tournament and the rules, um, we were already in the hole a little bit with the 11 point uh, loss to Denver. So we were trying to, you know, figure out, uh, you know, who can keep us above 20 um, to try to get out of that hole. And so uh, I thought, uh, you know, Curry made a big shot for us that well, no one's going to talk about, but that uh, stopped the run and also kept, kept us up there at the 20 point uh, margin. Kyrie, yes, the last game said that you called them soft. How do you think this team responded to that? Uh, I thought they were great. Uh, Sometimes you don't have to tell everybody what I said, um, <laughs> but no, he, uh, I saw that um, he let everybody know. I thought, I thought everybody responded in a positive way. Um, it wasn't that um, I was making something up. I just, that's what I felt. Um, and I thought the guys responded. I thought we were physical. Uh, the Clippers are a big team. I thought Toronto was, you know, they were physical with us and we kind of backed down. So. Um, I thought the guys did a great job of responding uh, to that comment. You mentioned Dante's impact. What do you like particularly when he plays alongside Kyrie and Luca in those lineups? Yeah, you know, one, they trust him um, with bringing the ball. His pace uh, is uh, something that we've been looking for. And he's done it with Kai and Luca both out there. Um, and then his, his able to play make, but also to get to the rim. Uh, he's doing a, uh, a great job of that for us. Uh, with those two, a lot of times you can wait uh, for Kai or Luca, but he's putting uh, a lot of pressure, you know, on the defense. The ball is touching the paint, and then his ability to, to you know, play make is at, at a high level. So that has been good for us. And then he got a couple stops, I think, against Russell Westbrook towards the end of the first quarter. What do you like about his on-ball defense? Yeah, that he his provides? length. His length is big for us uh, to be able to guard and. Uh, Know, switch and be able to guard not just uh, the perimeter but you know some bigs and so uh, his basketball IQ is high and uh, you saw that tonight. What impressed you about Logic tonight after he you know missed the last game? He, he uh, used all his fouls well. Um, <laughs> he, he did great but again um, he's going to learn um, you know how not to foul and, and when to foul um, but I thought just being there uh, a lob threat playmaker and then um, also on the defensive end being able to come up with some rebounds and then also I thought uh, he had a really nice block shot uh, after a turnover um, and just his hustle so his spirit his energy is in the right place uh, especially being sick um, I thought he did a great job. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you.